That skate reminded me of the days of my youth when I had all the hopes and dreams of becoming a world-renowned artiste. It was 12 years ago and 5 years ago, meaning it was 17 years ago. <laughs> I, had my, I made my journey across the world to audition for one of the greatest art schools in all of Europe, the Vienna Art School of the Fine Arts. They only enrolled 1.5 students per year, rounding down. <laughs> and that year, it was down to me and this other guy. Uh, so next we'll have Phil Cricket. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm mighty gracious to be able to present this to you all today. Um, so uh, I was moved one day by, by the degradation of society's environmental standards and the blind pursuit of capital wealth at the expense of precious non-renewable resources. I like to call this piece the United States of America, a.k.a. Trash Heap Nation. <laughs> oh, yes, very nice. Next we have uh, Stephen S. Cargot. <laughs> yes, yes. For my work, I present this. I call it Inside of Me. <laughs> I want you to just to think about it. Just think about it. <laughs> <laughs> It's so complex. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Y'all gotta be kidding me. <laughs> My dreams became as dried up as a cactus devoid of water. <laughs> and from then on, I decided that in order to be taken as a serious artist, I had to give up my past life. No more of this southern hospitality. No more hoedowns. No more listening to Rascal Flats. <laughs> <laughs> And from then, Mr. Phil Cricket came to be known as <clears throat> Monsieur Philip Critique. <laughs> 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 